Hello, and welcome to this introduction to the Continuum Motion Blur effect for Avid Media Composer. I have a clip in my timeline which has been standards converted, and I'd like to smooth over the pull-down artifacts here. To deal with this I'll go to the Avid Effect palette, open the Continuum Blur group, and drag BCC Motion Blur to my timeline segment. Motion Blur is applied with its default settings. I'll toggle Bypass to show before and after. Now I'll examine the effect controls, beginning with Motion Blur Amount, which controls the overall intensity of the effect. Velocity Limit sets the amount of blur applied in relation to source clip motion. High values affect all motion, whilst lower values only apply motion blur in faster moving areas. Threshold and Maximum Deviation control the colour ranges where motion blur is applied. There are two blur types available. Blur, which blurs forwards and backwards in the direction of the motion, and Smear, which blurs in one direction only. Smear Falloff controls the range of motion to which smear is applied. A low value affects all motion, whilst a higher value limits smearing to the faster moving areas. I'll bypass again to show before and after, and scrub to view the final result. In the next example I'll apply Continuum Motion Blur to a clip with a moving camera. When I increase the motion blur amount, we can see that this is affecting the background. There are a couple of ways to isolate motion blur. I can apply a foreground mask to modulate the blur amount according to the alpha channel or luminance of a video track in the timeline, or, as with most other continuum effects, I can launch Mocha to draw and track a quick mask around the region of interest. In the Mocha UI, I'll hit the Draw x button, plot my shape, right-click to close the shape, right click and drag on the tangent handle to straighten the corners and alt drag on the vertices to pull out some soft edges on my shape. Now I'll invert the shape, save it and return to Avid where the motion blur is now confined to the region of interest. Continuum motion blur is also useful for adding an organic look to graphics. In this example I've animated my logo with Continuum Jitter. Like many Continuum effects, Jitter has basic motion blur built in but I'd like to finesse this a little more, so I'll alt drag Continuum Motion Blur to my Timeline segment, set the blur amount, enable Advanced Optical Flow Mode, and tweak the Advanced settings for a more fluid effect. I can also change the Apply Mode of the Motion Blur to achieve variations on the look. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Boris Effects on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris Effects products.